Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the Command 66 Day Challenge 2.0 bonus material. Today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the clarification process on paid social ads. So you can see this week's updates does include a blurb about the um, clarification here, and I've still seen a little bit more confusion uh, existing. So I wanted to show you the difference between what an awareness ad does and what a Facebook lead ad does. Uh, from within the campaign section. So campaigns is this uh, kind of megaphone icon here. We're going to click on that and we're going to want to create a new campaign, which is going to be a social ad. So once we click on social ad, this one's just going to be a test, but you would want to actually name your campaign. Um, you can choose what you want to do here with the actual goal of your um, campaign. So let's just say I'm advertising one of my listings and I want to show you the difference on what that looks like in Facebook. So once I go to set up the campaign, it brings in KWLS 2.0 and asks me if I want to advertise any of my current listings. Let's just say I want to advertise Lodge Meadows. And the ad copy uh, basically remains the same regardless of which ad that you do. So you can see down here, Here's where the headline will show up. So if I start typing in, um, you're gonna love this beautiful Cinco Ranch home, right? Spell that right. There we go. So you can see it shows up here. This is where your headline shows up. The main copy, it starts to bring in actually from the listing. However, I only have 250 characters. Um, our MLS descriptions actually allow up to a thousand. So I would wanna edit this copy, which is gonna show up right here. Okay, so this is where the main copy shows up. Now, when we get into the Facebook tab, once we click on this down arrow, it's gonna say, okay, which account do you want connected? And then I need to select which business page I want connected. So that's gonna be my Summit Property Group. And then this is the main part I was telling you about. So there's two different ad types and you can see the labs team added this small I for information. If you click on that, you can also get some additional information and it tells you basically awareness ad types, um, basically have the objectives that generate interest in your product or service. It increases brand awareness. It's about telling people what makes your business valuable. This ad type will use the ad destination link of your choice. Then we have the Facebook lead ads. It basically says when a person clicks on your lead ad from Facebook, they're taken to an on Facebook instant form. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Likewise, when they click on your lead ad from Instagram, they're taken to an on Instagram instant form. On this form, they can edit and confirm their pre-populated information before clicking the submit button. However, as of right now, and I believe this may change in the future, but as of right now, once they click on the button and they get the auto-populated form, they fill it out, they are then taken back to their Facebook feed. So as of right now, it does not take them to another ad destination link. So just a heads up there, if you're attempting to send somebody to a new page, uh, right now the Facebook lead ads do not do that. The awareness ads do. However, on the awareness ads, there is no opportunity, at least from Facebook, to have them auto um, kind of register and be able to submit their information. So what I have seen is people using the awareness ad to send somebody to an actual landing page. And you can see the difference when we come down here to add destination link. This is still available, right? Because this is still on ad awareness. And it says this is where your audience will be taken when they, it should be they, click on your ad. So you could put in a landing page that you had created. You could put in your own custom website. Um, whatever that looks like. So um, if there's an ad or excuse me, a lead capture form on that landing page or website, then you do have the opportunity to get your, uh, you know, your information there. Uh, however, they're going to have to actually fill out that entire form. So there's a little more friction, a little more resistance there typically um, for someone to fill out the form as compared to just view the actual website. Um, so this is still, again, in the ad awareness style, you will see the click to action link text here, and then you're actually gonna see the link available for them to choose. Now, when we go back to Facebook and I change it to Facebook lead ad, you can see that that CTA description, the call to action description and the call to action or CTA link are gone. 
now I only have the header or the, the headline, if you will, and then the, uh, the stuff from the ad copy, basically. So I have still available to me the headline and main copy, but I do not have the call to action link. Now, if somebody clicks on this learn more button while they're in Facebook, they are going to have a pop-up that comes up and it's gonna look similar to this. So this is my buddy, Travis, who's a labs advisor with me as well. He kind of sent me some, uh, uh, sent me an ad that I could click on and look at. So when I clicked on learn more from his ad, it popped up with this information auto-populated. Now, the one that we're running with Keller Williams is not asking for their actual street address. It just asks for their phone number and their email. Um, and I don't know if we're gonna have the ability to change that in the future, but right now, this is what the consumer would see. They would have their first and last name auto-populated, as well as their email and their phone number. And then once I click on next, which I did, it would take me into this screen. It would say, hey, just wanna make sure you're good with our Facebook policy. You know, Travis is going to receive your information. Once I clicked on submit, it took me into this page where it said, thanks, you're all set. Now our ads through command are not gonna have this call to action button. However, I do believe that that's going to change soon. Okay, so for right now, they're just gonna get this screen and then if they click the X, it'll take them back to their Facebook feed. And that is only through the, um, whoops, there we are. Uh, that is only through the lead gen style, right? So we've gotta make sure that you have the Facebook lead ad clicked. Um, otherwise, it's just awareness. If they click on the link, it'll take them directly to the page that you have built and that you want them to go to. There is no form that they would fill out. So again, that's kind of the basics between the different ad types, awareness or Facebook lead ad. Um, I've seen some amazing results online with people running Facebook leads, uh, lead ads, excuse me. Uh, one more small caveat, I would make sure that you choose one image and the best image right now for your ads. Um, unfortunately, the carousel uh, format is not quite working yet from KW Command. So if you select more than one photo, it is going to create more than one ad. Um, so for example, I chose five photos and it actually created five separate ads with one photo per ad. Um, so just wanna give you a heads up there, make sure that you're selecting the best image for right now. Hopefully soon the um, carousel function will be working and yet uh, right now, uh, that function is not enabled. So choose your best photo, run with a Facebook lead ad type, allow them to uh, submit the form and get those leads coming in. And again, guys, I've heard the feedback that a lot of those leads, you know, they, they take time. Again, lead generation via the internet does take time. Um, it's a long play. You've got to make sure that you're um, one, contacting them very quickly and two, contacting them regularly. Um, and so you've seen examples online in some of the Facebook groups where it's been you know, a month, two months, three months, six months before somebody actually replies and yet staying on them, um, eventually they will reply when they are ready, not necessarily when you are. So that's pretty much it. Guys, hope you're having a fantastic day and a fantastic week. And uh, as always, I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon. Thanks so much.